Alright guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. Um, today we're going to be reviewing this man, uh, team of the season so far, Carlos Tevez. He is in fact the guy that I got out of my uh, Latin America pack, uh, which I'm very, very happy about. Uh, so if you like the content, if you're liking the reviews that I put out, then you know what to do. Like the video. Uh, Comment down below if there's anybody else who you want me to review. The next review is probably going to be uh, Memphis Depay, who I'm looking forward to review. Um, but without further ado, let's get into the video. So, Tevez, he's a 95 rated team of the season card. Argentinian, plays for Buenos Aires, I think. Yep. 5 foot 7, meta. High low work rate is pretty meta, I would say. Probably high medium, maybe a little bit better, but we'll see how that affects him in game. He's right footed, he's got 4 star skills with 4 star weak foot. On the face of it, he's got 94 pace. 96 dribbling, 95 shot, 91 pass, 98 physical with 62 defending. Uh, when we look at the in games, um, his pace is split, so he's got 98 acceleration and 91 sprint speed. His shooting, he has 96 attack positioning, 96 finishing with 99 shot power. He also has 88 long shots, 91 volleys, and 88 penalties. I think that's nice. I think you could get away without uh, without touching the shooting in terms of a chemistry style. Um, in terms of passing, he's got 92 vision with 97 short passing and 83 long passing. He's also got 87 crossing if you want to play him out wide and 91 curve, which will make his finish shots pretty solid. Um, in terms of his dribbling, he's got 93 agility with 97 balance, 91 reactions, 96 ball control, 96 composure, uh, 96 ball control, 96 dribbling with 99 composure. He actually has decent defending stats in regards to tackling and heading accuracy. And then his physicals, he only has 70 jumping, but he has 99 strength, 99 aggression with 84 stamina. Personally, I think the basic chem style is best for him. Gets his pace up to 96 sprint speed and 98 acceleration. Boosts his attack positioning, his volleys, his penalties. Vision gets boosted. Short and long passing get boosted and curve. The dribbling gets a nice boost and the jumping also gets a boost. Um... In terms of his weaknesses, I think his only real weakness will be him feeling maybe a little bit heavy in game. His stock is quite big. Uh, we're going to leave him on basic. Oh, also traits, of course, yeah. So he's got finesse shot and outside foot shot trait, which should mean that... And team player, whatever that does, which should mean that his uh, his uh, uh, weak foot is not used very often. Now, in terms of the tactics today, we're going to be using him as a uh, sole striker in a 4-2-3-1 with Neymar behind him and Ben Yedder and uh, Del Piero on the wings. Uh, I mean, I mean that's 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 pretty much there is to it. We're also going to switch probably at half time, depending on the score, to a four one two one two narrow. We'll take off Del Piero for maybe Renato Sanchez. We'll see, and then we'll play uh, Tevez in a two up front just to see how he plays like that as well. I am curious to see um, if it makes him a better or worse player. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into the games. Beat of the team, these central midfield players, and we've got a new one making his debut today. What do you make of it, Alan? Well, um, good positioning, good run as well after he played the pass. Tevez! Great effort as well. I think he might have moved his keeper, but the movement there was really, really nice. Oh, that was a bit of a heavy touch there. Now they can swing into attack, and he's got some help. Tevez. Unlucky. I'm not sure how he Good dribbling. He, he actually he feels quite nice on the ball, to be fair. That's why. Del Piero. Maldini. Touch was not nice at all, though. Mbappe, because of it. He's oh, that was a nice pass. The touch there, to be fair, to control the ball and, and play the pass was, was real nice. Restart the game. Turn it back. That's a really good tackle. Really in the clear now. In on goal. Oh, Tevez. Tevez on his weak foot has just done that. I thought I was controlling the pie, so I went on his left, but that was Tevez. That was a nice finish. Good touch. Really nice pass as well. Outside. His movement was okay there, he just played the pass a touch late. Oh, what a wasted opportunity that is. Here's Ben Yadair, Tevez, Neymar. Neymar! An early 
the assist by Tevez there, I mean, obviously he didn't do much, but he his position is always nice. He's always moving around and he's always in positions to get assists. Bad pass. Moving into the advanced position. Wonderful chance. Good dribbling there. Uh, not a bad effort either. Allen should have got that interception. Carlos Tevez. And now the shot. Now the keeper's done well to keep that one out. Feels a little bit heavy on the turn sometimes. Can he do it? He must have thought he'd scored. I don't know how his keeper saved that. The keeper had other ideas. Neymar. Probing pass from Neymar. Great run and a really, really good here. finish there. Um, he's constantly, and constantly be making runs. I just don't want to get a pass to him, but here. that run was great. Split the defence, buries the shot. Great ball. Good pass. Really, really nice pass to find Neymar. That was beautiful. <clears throat> good challenge. Carlos Tevez. Good pass again. Neymar. Tevez. Looking for goal. Yeah. Now. It's another one. Uh, not yet. They go further in front. And the referee's read nice that position perfectly. again. Nice balance. And the give and go fight. run was really nice. I should have probably done something better with that shot, but uh, well played anyway. We've got two added minutes. Set up to play. This could be a chance. Buried it on the weak foot. Buried it. Really, really nice play once again. <clears throat> okay, so that's going to conclude the uh, Carlos Tevez review for today. Um, what do I think of this card? I think he's very good. I think. His in-game stock and his stats and everything make him basically a budget uh, Lataro Martinez at, you know, just under 700k. He's probably dropped a little bit um, because of the, uh, uh, the 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 guaranteed packs that have been out today. Yeah, so he's about 670k. So that's 650k. I think he's great. I don't think he's the best option at that price. I think that the, 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 the benefit of having this card is that his finishing is lethal um he finished everything uh, on his on either foot to be fair as long as as long as he was in a decent position the ball ended up in the back of the net the pace was good the passing was actually surprisingly good and he played very well in a one striker and two striker formation the movement was great as well i think that's key any player can have a good shot it's only a few select players in the game that have that uh, solid um off the ball movement and he definitely has it now the, what this card lacks in my opinion is uh, the agility uh, because of his in-game stock uh, at times his dribbling was inconsistent he felt a little bit heavy even though he literally has 99 ball control 99 dribbling just because of the stock being slightly bigger uh, he shielded the ball from defenders a little bit better but just at times his touches sometimes under pressure were a little bit heavy uh, which is something you don't get with players like Depay who I'll be reviewing and, uh, and Neymar Ben Yedda, etc. That was the only real downer with the card. I think at this price, with the fact that he lacks links, it's a little bit tough to justify. However, if you can fit him into your team, I think you wouldn't go wrong with at least trying him out. He's not going to fit everyone's style of play, but if you're someone who you know plays a lot of passes, uh, waits for movement, and, and you know loves to take first time, second time shots, he's going to be solid. He's very good at holding off defenders, and he he can win headers as well, even though his jumping's not great. Because of his strength, he's actually decent at winning headers. That's going to conclude the video. I hope it was helpful. If you've got any questions about him, let me know below. But I do, I do, I do like this card. Do I recommend it? I'm not sure. I think there might be better alternatives. But I can say that if you're interested in this card, buy him. It won't be a waste of coins. Test him out, and if you don't like him, there are better options for a little bit less that you might want to try. Thank you very much for watching, uh, and take care. I'll catch you all in the next video. Goodbye.